Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. I don't normally make impromptu videos like this, but I wanted to give you a quick look at a project I've been working on that I'm really excited about. This will definitely be part of a project video in the future. Here's what I'm working on. I've done previous videos about my mobile setup with the 7100, and right now I have it tuned to a local repeater on an FM two meter frequency. And if I take the squelch knob here and I turn it and open the squelch, the receive light comes on and you hear static. And if I turn the knob to the right, the squelch closes and the noise goes away. This may not seem like something to be really excited about. You probably can't see this on the video, but the volume knob is all the way down and you are hearing this through my truck stereo because it has an auxiliary input jack, so I have this plugged into that right now. That may also not seem terribly exciting. The reason it's exciting for me is because the 7100 has a little bit of a quirk in the accessory jack audio output. If you connect the audio from the radio using the accessory jack, which is what I have connected here right now, Normally, if the squelch is opened or closed, you hear this. So if I have it hooked up to the aux jack directly, even with the knob over and the receive light off, you would be hearing static right now through the auxiliary, uh, sorry, through the accessory jack output. There is a setting for this in the menus to have the accessory jack output either follow the squelch signal or not, but the setting says USB slash accessory audio, and it actually does not work on the accessory audio. It only works on the USB audio out. I've tried this, I've played around, I've actually asked ICOM, and the way the radio is wired internally, the accessory jack output does not go through the squelch circuit. What I did was I built up a small audio switching circuit based on a P-channel JFET, and although the accessory jack on the 7100 does not follow the squelch output for the audio, it does have the squelch signal as one of the pins on the accessory. So I took the squelch pin, connected it to this little audio circuit, and voila, I now have squelched audio. So when I'm driving someplace by myself, I can listen to the 7100 through the stereo and have nice high fidelity audio <laughs> like this. Yeah, yeah, this is just somebody you know, talking on 20 uh, meters. And so you can see, this is actually the truck audio. So I get nice high fidelity sound now. Part of the reason I'm excited about this is because this very, very prototypish proof of concept board that I threw together really quickly actually worked the first time. I was very pleased with that. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. I will be putting together a project video on this. I may actually even design a printed circuit board to make this a little easier to wire. One thing that I would appreciate is if you could leave in the comments if any of you would be interested in buying a circuit board or maybe a kit to put something like this together. If enough of you are interested in using your 7100 through your car stereo when you're mobile, maybe I'll see about getting a kit put together and putting it out there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.